All right, great. Sorry about that. Next up, we have our reports from our professionals and member of count, members of council. First up, it's our township administrator, Joseph Bellina. Joe? Uh, Mr. President, just, oh, thank you, Mayor. Just wish to report that uh, the, the project for Notre Dame uh, will be going out to bid tomorrow, and we, with the bid opening of about two weeks away. So that project should be, uh, be ready to go this fall. Great. Thank that, you, Joe. Appreciate it. Next up is our clerk, Jamie Eggers. Jamie, anything? No, nothing tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Next up, we have a report from our mayor, Mayor Catrabum. Yes, thank you. So the biggest and best news I can give you is that the uh, tax bills are finally out. And for the third year in a row, uh, Delran Township taxes are flat. That's no increase. And uh, best of all, the other taxing entities are also flat. So the end result is the taxes that you paid last year are the same taxes uh, that you'll be paying uh, this in this year. And uh, I'd like to thank the, our new administrator, Joe, for his hard work coming into the budget season right in the middle of that and helping me to uh, present a no-increase budget. Of course, a big thank you to the department heads who, again, held the line while providing great services. And, of course, to town council for their diligence in uh, shepherding this budget to fruition once they received it. And uh, also a reminder that the Mason Williams Foundation is hosting their Back to School Mental Health Challenge and Fair on September 18th. They're still looking for support from the township and all proceeds go to scholarships and mental health resources for the middle and high school students. You can get more information at masonwilliamsfoundation.org or the Mason Williams Foundation on Instagram. And that's my report. Thank you. Next up, we have a report from our solicitor, Mark Tappan. Mark? No report, sir. Okay. And here is the monitor of the night. So we have a report from the council. Anything? I don't have no report. Anything for us? No report. Thank you. Next up, we have Councilman Lynn Jenny. Councilman? Thank you, Council President. I'd just like to mention uh, the Green Team is uh, sponsoring on Thursday night. Well, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. at the community park, Everything Water. It's a really important uh, event right now. They're going to talk about water, water usage, water uh, resources, water preservation. So if you'd like to be there, uh, they'll have a presentation. At 6.30, they're inviting anyone who wants to be there to bring a picnic and uh, have a little picnic dinner. And then afterwards, uh, you'll listen to the presentation. That's the community park starting at 6.30. Also, uh, we're working with the VFW uh, post 3020 still. Uh, we'll be identifying another veteran, excuse me, another veteran who will be honored at our public meeting in September. And I thank uh, Sean Hearn, the Vice Commander, for all his work that he's done to support uh, us on that. That's my report, Council President. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, for my report, I uh, just want to congratulate Jeremy Raffanello, who is now a union soccer player. Uh, born and raised in Delran Township. I uh, played with his brother on soccer. And remember when he was very little, he was out there playing with the ball. And he was very, very young. So uh, much, much uh, acclimates to him. Uh, congratulations and, you know, make Delran proud. We're definitely looking up to him. So uh, we'll be sure to watch his first game. We'll let everybody know when, when that comes around. So with that, we'll now head to our public comment portion of the evening. Before we begin, uh, we just have some rules of the quorum that we always read into the record. If you wish to speak, we ask that you please raise your hand. You will be recognized. At that time, you may approach the podium, the microphone in the front, state your name and address for the record. All remarks should be directed to the body as a whole, and all statements. Uh, each speaker has five minutes of allotted time. Uh, I ask that we're going to hold that five-minute time to a T tonight. As you can see, there's many people in the room, and if everyone takes five minutes, we'll be here very late into the night. We do respect your First Amendment rights, but you know we, we, we do have to keep, keep, keep this an orderly meeting. So I just remind everybody about that. And all statements tonight are part of the public record that's both written, video, and audio recorded. So they cannot be redacted or retracted after the fact. OK? So with that, I'll ask for a motion to open up the floor. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, the motion carries. Our floor is now open for public comment. If anyone has public comment, please raise your hand and you will be recognized. Out in the back, please.
Good evening, Joseph Joyce. I live in Delran, New Jersey. I will not be giving my street address out. I will get into reasons why I'm not giving my street address out. Over the past year, people who have spoken out at this podium have received death threats in their social media inboxes, have had their tires slashed. That was brought to council's attention, by the way, by a man named Tony Egan. I went back and watched that meeting. This has gone on long enough. And with the termination of the contract with the communications director last week, over allegations that are too disgusting to even say. I mean, who does that? Who would say that someone faked cancer? The cancer was covered in Newsweek. There are pictures of a tumor that is this big. How can someone say that that was fake and hold a public position? This happened back in January, and it is now August, and she held that position until now. As someone who has lost relatives to cancer, that was disgusting to read. It was hurtful to read. I can only imagine what the person who it was about felt like. This has gone on long enough. I congratulated each one of you in 2020 when you won. I think I lost more than anyone. I believe, Tyler, you beat me three to one. Mr. Jenny, I believe you were two and a half to one. Congratulations again, by the way. I have the utmost respect for each one of your offices and each one of you. However, I am disgusted by the actions that have taken place over the past year. I do not speak for any other resident other than myself, and I hope that other residents speak up. But people are afraid to in Delran because of retaliation. There's one common thread among all the people who have received threats, had issues in the schools with their kids, and it's they've spoken up at this podium about the issues that have occurred. And that has to stop. And the ultimate act of retaliation was what happened to Mr. Duff, where a blog was written about him. And then when he showed the evidence, it was denied. And when I read that post on the resident's official page, waiting in the tall grass, that can be interpreted as a threat. This has to stop. Mr. Catrimbone, I have the utmost respect for the office of the mayor. I congratulated you. I talked to Wendy months ago about having a job fair in Delran, about being productive, being an active member of my community, regardless of party, regardless of politics. And in return, we have this to deal with. Mr. Catrimbone, you won the election fair and square. You won the election. You beat Pat Pomerantz. You are the mayor. However, the actions over the past year have proven that you do not care about the residents of this town. You care about yourself. And I respectfully ask you to resign your position as mayor. I ask you to resign. I am asking as a citizen of Delran, as a resident who cares about his community, and as someone who has heard enough horror stories from people who have received death threats, Someone threatened to shoot that man in the face. He received a message. Other people, Mark Oberg received threats in his inbox. People had their tires slashed over this. And I'm not saying that anyone on council or you or anyone here directed that, but that's the climate that we have in this town, and it needs to stop. Mr. Catrimbone, you care about Del Ren. I believe that's why you got into politics. I'm asking you, please as a citizen, as someone who one time thought that you were a pretty good councilman years ago, please resign. This is not a political statement. This is a citizen coming to council and to the mayor and asking for a resignation over absolutely horrible decisions. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I, I will say I'm not going to comment on everything because we'll be here all night. I do have to say, you know, it, it's unacceptable that there's retaliation of any kind going on, no matter what your political party is. So that none of us stand for that. I can assure you that. If there is those type of problems, please, please, please. This is not the medium to bring it up, though. We are not the reporting agency. Please contact the police. You know, the, a political body. They will investigate and do the job that they need to do. So, if that does happen, please continue to report to the police. Is there any other public comments? Please raise your hand. Slow thing.
Barb Littleton, uh, I reside here in Delran. Again, I do not want to uh, state my address. I have had people come up to my door. You just lower the microphone, oh. please. Thank you. No, I'm not tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Now you're making fun of my height. <laughs> uh, I've had people come up to my door, so I really don't want to say my address. Um, I, I want to reiterate the comments that were just made. Um, over the past year, we've had numerous issues with what's going on here, the decisions that are being made, the, and all of them have the same one person that is pretty much the crux of it all. Mayor, I think you're a good person at heart. I just think that some of the decisions you made are personal in nature for you and not in the best interest of this township. Um, when you took on the Dumphy case and a couple other people on the council had some, some responsibility with that case as well, um, and we settled out of court for $300,000, if you look at the net, no matter what, it's $300,000 to the taxpayers when the insurance company could have covered that. So whether you did it personally or the business administrator did it before or whatever happened, whatever reason that that didn't get reported to the insurance company, it comes back to you. It comes back to the council because you have an obligation to uphold the, the internal controls to make sure this township works the way it's supposed to. So with that, we're looking at that. We're looking at the Carly Lloyd event and the, and the debacle with that and, and all the different things that we identified with that. And now we get this communications director position, which we have been hounding council and you mayor over for the last year. We've been asking questions, what's happening? Are we covered as residents if this person does something and a court case comes out? Are we covered? Well, come to find out we're not. Her insurance was not valid at the point of the post. So, I mean, we can all look at that. Mayor, I know you were cruxed in, in getting that position filled and hiring that person. You had her for a year in a temporary position, and then this year the council went ahead and hired her again. The due diligence that you got just wasn't there, or at least what you provided to us was not there. All of these decisions, I agree. I would ask you for your resignation. Thank you so much. Any other public comments? Please raise your hand. Stand up. All right. How you doing? Um, you know, last time, I, two weeks ago, I came here and I asked your associate to, to start an investigation because I had um, some people that were telling me that the person that created the blog was actually Wendy Mitchell and that she was going around this municipal building telling people that she saw my medical records and that it proved I didn't have cancer. Now, I didn't have a C-section. I have a scar from the top of my pelvis to the middle of my chest almost. I had a 10-inch tumor removed from my body about a year ago. Um, one of the most difficult things you'll ever hear in your life if you get to, to hear this, and I think you've heard this, is you have cancer. It feels like the, the world hit a pause button and left you behind. You feel like you're a death sentence. You've just been 45 years old, an 11-year-old son sitting at home, and I thought I was going to die. That's why I did this crap. Because I was sitting in the hospital saying, well, this, pardon my French, this effing world is so bad right now. There's no honesty. There's no, there's no adults in the room. There's no transparency in government. People are stealing from the poor, and people are, people are just doing nothing about it. And I decided I wanted to do something about it. I did. And what's so funny is I didn't even look at the... The Carly Lloyd thing was just, oh, I'm going to just use my skills to, to show how much his party cost. 
but you, you hid the, the cost of the party. Like, the whole way it's been a hidden agenda, everything in the dark. And people who operate in the shadows do the stuff like happened to me. We create a blog that says I faked cancer? There's a woman in Delran who did fake cancer. I think she got like five years probation. A man in California has now got seven years in prison for faking cancer and stealing money. Five years in New York. I mean, I look at this every day. My wife went to Thailand two months ago. When she left for Thailand, I paid for a vacation. I said, I'm going to be there. I'm going to come. I'll see you in a couple weeks. I said, I'm staying home so I can write my book, my book about Martin Luther King. That was a lie. I lied to my wife. I stayed home so I could find that person who wrote that fucking blog about me. Pardon my French. And, she, and nobody understands it. No, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't breathe when she left. Thinking about that. Think, I mean, think about that. I mean, like somebody goes searching the internet and, and they find that. What do they think about you at that point? Mayor, did you agree with that blog post? Do you agree with it sa what it says? Do you, think it was, do you think that was valuable in any way? Do you support the author of it? So we have, I stated immediately when that blog came out that I denounced that blog and didn't agree with what it was and it wasn't Del Ran. Um, and there was, there was nothing that I did ever to promote anything about that blog. Your personal assistant, though, wrote the blog. I don't believe she did. So you don't believe she did? You think she was set up? I Come on, know. tell the people. I don't know. I don't believe she wrote it. So her phone number is attached to the blog. It could, her cell phone is directly attached to the blog. Do you understand how that works technology-wise? I have a pretty good grasp of, test of technology, yeah. So why did she get fired immediately, Mayor? Uh, I didn't have anything to do with that. No? Mayor, you were at her house three days after that she was fired, weren't you? Hanging out? You were at a birthday party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you were. So you, you basically condoned her act. Is that what that is? Okay. That's what it is Are to me. A ch a child's birthday party? You're attending a child's birthday party at somebody that that's literally they sent a letter to saying she wasn't even allowed back in the municipal building. Mr. Duff, you got a minute left. Yeah, and, and, and you're saying now that you believe she was set up. So tell us how she was set up. If you, you believe she was, she set, was up. set up, I don't know what happened. Mayor, on January 4th, you released a statement this year to call for an investigation yourself. Nobody has heard anything about the investigation still. You haven't said anything. You said you're going to release a letter that was going to explain the, the uh, timeline of the Dunphy scandal. Never did that. You said you're going to, uh, this investigation you've called for, you're going to release the investigation of results. You never did that. Um, and now you're saying you believe that she didn't, didn't write this blog. Mayor, you released a statement on January 4th calling for your, your investigation. On January 5th, the blog was created. Is that a coincidence? You think that's a coincidence? I don't. Do you? No, and, and you know what? So just so you know, and listen, you, you've always said this, I, I'm doing this for up. money or something. You've got to wrap up your time. Surely not doing it for money. Never made a dollar off any of these Oprah cases I've done. But I'm going to, man. Your communications director wrote a blog saying I fake cancer and I stole money from a memorial. You know how liable you are at this point? I have the best defamation attorney in New Jersey right now. I just signed a, a retainer with. And, I, I, and I'm just going to say this. <laughs> what, is so, what is so crazy to me, what's so crazy is the person, the second person that I named in the lawsuit, who is the chairman of the Democratic Party of Burlington County. Duff, Wait, real quick, I'm going to finish this very quickly. The chairman, the chairman of the Democratic Party of Burlington County hired you as an attorney, too. So how can the attorney for Delaran Township be the attorney for the other party? Because you're going to be named also. See ya. Is there any other public comments? Please raise your hand. Last call. Forever hold your peace. Do you name and address for the record? Candy Cure, Del Rand, New Jersey. Um, Lynn, the green team event is tomorrow night, Wednesday night. No, I just checked with Debbie. Oh, okay. 
it's tomorrow night. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is the 24th. There you go. <laughs> I don't have my phone with me. Okay, thanks. Any other public comment? Last call. Does this man need more time? I'll donate five minutes. You can't yield time to other members. You're entitled to, to speak for five minutes. Everyone here is entitled to speak. You can't yield time to other members of the public. You can't yield time to other public. Is there any other public comment? Raise your hand. If you would like to speak, you can raise your hand. You can have five minutes. Sure. Well, why don't you wait till you get this microphone so we can record it? Yeah, that's fine. But I'm just saying it's sand in here. I've been, I grew up in Cinnamon. One, one second. Just your name My name is Jim Rappert. I guess I won't get my address because it sounds like you're going to firebomb my house. So we're just going to, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be funny here because this is sick. This is sick. We all pay a lot of money to live in this town. We do all do the right thing by this town. We come here, we vote, we work, we're soccer coaches. We do all of us are good people. And now we have we, people chasing people around the town. This is sick. I, I, I mean, Gary, I've known you. I, we grew up, our kids grew up together. And you and Julie were like, like my favorite people in town. It just seems like you've changed a lot, buddy. You really have changed. Yeah. You're not that person that would with Tempe Chase Swim Club. So, I mean, this stuff, this, this government stuff, politics is crap. What matters is who we are as people. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, I would rather... I don't know. Do the right thing. That's all I'm saying. Do the right thing by God. Do the right thing by the people. But just remember, this is our house. This is our Thank town. You, not, not this, not you guys want to be here for 12, 15, 16 years. You're just politicians. You know what I mean? All rights are under the, under the U.S. Constitution to the American people. So that's all I got to say. Yeah, boy. Any other public comment? Good evening. My name is Ian Smith. And, um, you know, I've been aware of the story since the very beginning of it, um, or very, very close to the beginning. Um, this gentleman right here is a good friend of mine. And uh, I would put my name any day that he's a good human being. And what he does in and around New Jersey is help people who don't know how to get help when situations like this arise. And I understand, <clears throat> having been partially involved in politics, that sometimes your vision can get very cloudy. And you can, like this woman forget, like this woman just said, <clears throat> forget why you started doing this. But I also know this man to be one of the most tenacious and incredibly smart people I know. And he will not let this go. And because he won't let it go, and he has been a friend and an ally in the past, when I needed somebody to protect me and watch my six, I can guarantee that I will be here, and I will continue to make noise, and so will all of the people who are here supporting him. This won't go away. So my advice is to do the right thing, and to try to find a resolution to the problem before it grows. Thank you, sir. Any other public comment? Last call. Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to close the floor. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Motion carries. We, the floor is now closed. I, I, if, if council wouldn't mind, before we go into executive session, if I can make a quick, quick statement. It, there's. I want to first thank everybody. Um, a lot of emotions I'm going through right now. Let's, uh, I want to first thank everybody for coming out, even if you didn't speak. Um, I know it does take a lot to come out on a Tuesday night after a long day of work to come here and, and speak your mind, even if you disagree with any of us politically on a different aisle, whatever it may be. Um, I think you being here tonight means a lot and says a lot, even if you don't speak into the record. Uh, but I mean, I've made, I made a statement before about a lot of these things that were addressed a couple times. Uh, it's, well, it's, it's well read. I believe it's covered online, and it's, it's in the record. So that's going to speak for itself. 
But I, I, I do want to say that I, I feel, and I can't speak for all the members of council because I haven't reviewed what I'm about to say with them, but you know, I share the frustrations of many people in this community. Um, not only do I feel them, but I mean, really share those frustrations. And what's frustrating to me is, you know, we come council to this building each and every day. Well, not every day. When we come to this building, we really try to do the best for the residents. I mean, really, really try to do the best for the residents. Nobody got in this to make money or, you know, um, to change the world. They're just trying to change the community we live in. What's frustrating is that, but, you know, we're dealing constantly with the same saga that just can, council is left picking up the pieces. What's frustrating is each and every day, the men and women, this really bothers me, is the men and women who work here, who are employed, you know, our police, our admin staff, public works, you know, they have to come to this building each and every day and walk on eggshells because they don't know when the next controversy is going to drop. You know, and that's, you know, they get their job done because they're professionals, and that's a testament to them. Um, but, you know, that's not a working environment that any township should have. You know, and what's frustrating, you know, time and time again, you know, we've asked the mayor before, members of this council have asked the mayor to answer some of these questions, and tonight I don't think there was one answer that articulated any question that was asked by the public. Th that's frustrating, you know, and, you know, what I'm hearing today, I hear a lot about transparency, a couple people said that, you know, but I, I think the word you're looking for is accountability. There's a difference between transparency and accountability. I think what people want, no matter your political affiliation, no matter where you live, what you do for a living, you just want accountability. You want answers, uh, answers that you've been promised before and you haven't gotten. I can tell you this council has been accountable. I will die on this hill. We've gotten rid of a solicitor we thought gave us bad advice. You know, that's, with all due respect, that's a nuclear option in this form of this government. The second thing we did, and we will act tonight, is, is terminate a, a contract. That's, again, another option that we have our power to do that, right? We have very limited powers in what council can check against that office, the mayor's office. But we have stretched that and been very deliberate and respected the institution at hand repeatedly. I know it hasn't been as fast as many people want. People have been coming for eight months. But we've, I, I, I can tell you this, we've all talked about this many times. We all making deliberate and serious actions um, that are very deliberate. And we, we, we take a lot of time to think through that. You know, but accountability is really a simple proposition. I mean, it's not rocket science. I mean, it, it really isn't. Uh, you know, and that's, that's all I think people are asking here. That's all people, you know, when I go to ShopRite or when I go out, you know, people, I'm at Dooney's the other day and someone comes up to me and asks, what the hell is going on? You know, I'm at Dooney's with a friend having a drink and someone asks me what the hell is going on. You know, people want answers. You know, this is not some made-up fantasy that um, one side has created or that I've created or any members of council have created to inflame this. This is stuff that we're dealing with each and every day we wake up in this town. And listen, I, you know, Gary, I've known Gary for a large portion of my life. I mean, that's, there's no joke about that. Um, and there's no disputing that. You know, I, someone I've cared about, someone who's, you know, I really think, deep down cares about what's best for the community. He's been coming to these meetings for 20 years, you know, almost longer than, you know, more than half my life. Uh, but with each period of extended silence and these common themes that we keep hearing, it, it just makes me concerned. It, it really makes me concerned. And we haven't gotten answers that were promised, you know, nine months later, eight months later. I mean, I can't keep doing the same thing every Tuesday night and expecting different results. I mean, isn't that the definition of insanity? Like, we cannot run a township where this is constantly what we're doing. I can't have anything on the agenda tonight because we have to deal with this type of stuff. I mean, the work that we need to do cannot get done. And that's the frustrating part, because we all come here and volunteer. I have people we pay to come here, and we can't even have conversations about the things we want to get done. I don't think we've done a thing in a year and a half in here that's been productive, besides keeping the trains on time. I, I do want to say that the township is, is moving, people are working, things are getting done, but we can't go to the next level, what we were elected to do. And that's, that's beyond frustrating for me, because everyone knows I'm the least patient person you'll ever meet. You know, I want things done yesterday. So it really bothers me. You know, but, I mean, I, I really think Gary, deep down, cares about the township. I, I, I really don't dispute that. I know that's probably a controversial topic in this room. You know, but what really disappoints me, and I, there's been nights that I couldn't sleep, uh, you know, and I, I lost a friend in all of this, I think. Um, you know, I consider Gary a colleague. Uh, maybe this sounds naive, but you know, no one really prepares you for when someone in this line of work disappoints you to that extent. And I, I didn't sign up for that, uh, but you know, I take the role. 
I come here, I do what we got to do to get the job done, and I understand leadership is not always roses and flowers, but someone's got to get it done. It, it's, it's just frustrating and disappointment is the best way I can explain it. You know, and, and I think Ms. Ruppert and, you know, I think we're both on different political sides of the aisle, you know, so I hate to interject in the middle of this, but you made a comment that, 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 that this isn't about politics. But this isn't about politics. You know, that's, I think, I believe you said that. This isn't about politics. And I, I wholeheartedly agree. This is really about the standard of conduct that we find as people acceptable for elected officials, for all of us. I mean, any locally, you know, high up as you want to go. We're talking about the standard of conduct and what you guys think is acceptable. You know, and I'm an institutionalist at heart. I respect this office that I hold. This isn't my chair. This is the township's chair. You know, and we have a job to protect the township. Same thing with the mayor's office. You know, that's an office of the mayor. I respect that position, the, the rights he has, thinks he has. That's his position, and he's entitled to that. You know, but loyalty to, to the township and the people will always come first to me, and I think it comes first to all of us. Um, you, know, you know, but the problem is we've got these repeated mistakes, you know, that come up in the lack of in answers. You know, and at that point, like, we can't call, mistakes are going to happen in life, right? I'm going to make mistakes up here. I'm going to make mistakes in my personal life. That's just how life is. But, you know, when there's these repeated mistakes and there's a lack of accountability and then we have repeated mistakes and, again, there's a lack of accountability, that, that's character, right? That's, that's not, that has nothing to do with mistakes anymore. We're beyond the mistake problem. Uh, so, as I said before, I've said it before, the mayor is his own man. He's twice my age. He can be accountable as he wants to be accountable. You know, I, I strongly advise him to consider the advice of some of the members here, uh, some of our, our residents made. I, I, I think we, it's time we get a solution to this problem because we cannot keep doing this. We're losing good people doing this. I think it's time to strongly consider, Gary, I, I strongly consider what has been discussed tonight. Um, and if, if the mayor doesn't strongly consider that, I'll consult with my colleagues on council when they all get back about our next steps. Um, so with that, we're going to keep our promise to hold everybody accountable in this bill. Council President, can I make a, a uh, You're response? more than welcome yeah. to mayor. You're more than welcome. Yeah. So, uh, Tyler, Tyler, I appreciate uh, what you've said. Um, he and my daughter went to high school together, and uh, uh, I was very proud to uh, be associated with Tyler and, and brought him into the political field and was uh, amazed at what he said or what he did uh, when he he got elected and some of the uh, some of the ways that he conducted himself but I would remind him that uh, while all of this is pointed at me uh, that everything that was done with the Dunphy's lawsuit council approved that the band and the DJ and the agent for for the Carly Lloyd event was all handled by the RAC and council I remained quiet because I didn't want to point the finger at anyone else. When there was bid splitting, a, accused of bid splitting, which there wasn't, but no one seems to understand what it means, that was, that was all handled by the RAC and council. Uh, we're not going to... Mayor, can we wrap this up? Sure. If you want to get in a debate, sure. we'll have a debate. Okay. I mean, we, we can have that at another debate. time. What I'm saying is, is this. This has been a, a multitude of unproven allegations that, uh, that some of you may find uh, uh, grist for the mill and fun to talk about. But I remind you that we live here, my family lives here. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, trade comments on lack of sleep or appetite, but this has been heartbreaking, and I think more than anything, it's been heartbreaking with my relationship with Tyler, and uh, what this has been what this has generated is is an incredible misconception, and and there are people that uh, thrive on that, and. I'm sorry for that, but I was elected to do a job, and frankly, I have no intention of resigning.
A motion. A motion. At this time, we'll enter a motion. I'll entertain a motion for resolution 2022-166. This is authorizing executive session to discuss the following. This negotiations, uh, negotiations, potential litigation vendor contract with the trash. It's item number one. Potential litigants, termination of vendor. Claims potential litigation related to a confidential investigation at the comptroller's office and potential litigation regarding a tort claim notice that was filed with the township. I'll entertain that with a motion, please. Motion. Second. All in favor. Oh, Jamie, roll call, please. Mrs. Zapiadu? Aye. Mr. Jenny? Aye. Mr. Burrell? Aye. The ayes have it. The motion carries. The resolution is adopted. This time we will go into closed session, so I'll ask everyone to please leave the bill. Please leave this room. The doors will shut. If there's action to be taken, it will be taken in the public afterwards. You shouldn't be too long.
All right, we're back on the record. Can I get a motion to come back to the public portion of the meeting? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 As opposed, motion carries. We're out of our executive, back into our public. At this time, there's one resolution to entertain. That's resolution 2022-167. Memorializing the termination of consulting agreement with W.L. Mitchell Consulting. I'll entertain a motion. Motion. Second. All in. Uh, Jamie, could you call the roll, please? Mrs. Zapiadu? Aye. Mr. Jenny? Aye. Mr. Burrell? Aye. Yeah, I just have it. The motion carries. The resolution is adopted. I'll now entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries.